In this lecture, we will instantiate a dart. You can use a cube as a 3D dart or you can use a custom package I have attached with this lecture. You can download that and import into your project. Import the custom package in which we have a 3D model and a prefab and a material. Go to prefab folder. There you can see a prefab with the name of dart. Drop this dart to the scene and take a look. To instantiate a dart in front of our camera, we need a position for that. We will create a cube and place it in front of the camera for the position reference. Click on AR Session Manager and then AR Camera. This is our AR Camera and we need to place our position reference to the front of this camera. It's better to have a smaller cube for the better position reference. And move the dart throw point into the AR Camera. To instantiate a dart, we will create a dart controller script. Let's open up a dart controller. Import AR Foundation Library. Our class will be dart controller and create a game object name as dart prefab. Transform will be dart throw point. We will get the session component from AR session origin and now find the AR camera and we will register the event on placed object and it will trigger a method dots in it. And our plan is to have a collider on the back of the dart and whenever user will tap on the collider, uh, it will shoot our dart. And in the update, we are preparing for the user to tap on the dart. We will rake us from the screen. If it hits anything, we will compare it to tag dart. By this, we will know user has tap on the dart. By this, we can perform action accordingly. I will attach a link to read more about tags in Unity and how tags can enhance the performance. In this method, we are starting a core routine, feed and spawn dart. And this is the syntax of writing a core routine. And in the first line, it says wait for a second for 0.1 second and then instantiate the dart board. And for the beginners, I will be explaining the script a little bit more, step by step, line by line. Here we are importing AR Foundation and our class name is Dart Controller. And these are the all variables we have defined. The first one is Dart Prefab and it's a game object. As its name suggests, it will hold the Dart Prefab and at the end of the script, we are instantiating it. Dart Throw Point is a transform type and it will be holding a position at which we will be instantiating a Dart Prefab. AR Session is a AR Session Origin type and it is used to hold the AR Session Origin script component. AR Camera is a game object type and using AR Session, we will be finding a AR Camera and will be assigning to ARCAM. DartM is a game object type and we will be using it to make a newly created Dart Prefab child of an AR camera. RB is a rigid body type and it will be used to hold a rigid body component of Dart. And we will also utilize it to turn off the physics of the Dart at the moment. Start method calls once when object is created in a scene. At this line to find a AR session origin, we are using a game object.find and passing a string AR session origin. Find method will search all the game objects in a scene and will try to find a game object with the name AR session origin. Once it will find a game object with the name AR session origin, we are further making a request using get component AR session origin. Using get component, we are saying please find and give us the AR session origin component attached to this game object. And using equal operator, we are assigning to AR session. In the second line, AR session dot transform dot find AR camera dot game object, we are requesting to find a AR camera game object inside the AR session hierarchy and assign it to AR camera using a find method in a particular hierarchy is a bit optimal way of searching but overall using a find method is a bit expensive for the performance for the big projects there are multiple ways of doing this but i'm starting with the very basic later on in the performance lecture we will be discussing it in more detail and we will be improving these type of codes using different approaches like assigning tags or assigning them directly I have explained these two methods in a detail in previous lectures. So in the first method, we are subscribing our darts in it method using plus equal operator to the event on place object. And here we are unsubscribing darts in it method. And as you know, update method is called every frame. At this line, we are checking for the touch on the screen using input class. Ray cast is a type of ray and ray is basically an infinite line starting at origin and going in some direction. And we are passing input dot get touch of zero dot position to screen point to ray will return a ray going from a camera through a screen point at the point where user touch on the screen. Raycast hit is a structure used to get information back from the raycast. Physics.raycast returns true if the raycast intersect with the collider otherwise false. Basically it casts a ray from a point in a direction 
and of length against all the collider in the scene. As recast hit hold the information of the ray and here we are checking recast hit dot collider dot compare tag and passing a dart string. We are checking is the ray is collided with the collider which have a tag equals to dart. If it true that's mean user is touching on the dart. And at this line we are disabling the same collider using raycast hit dot collider dot enable is equal to false. And using transform dot parent we are making dart temp is a child of ER session. We have subscribed this method. Whenever the event will be triggered, this method will be called. And at the same moment, we are starting a coroutine with the name wait and spawn dart. A coroutine is a function that can suspend its execution until the given instruction finishes. And we can add a time delay using wait for seconds method. There are two ways of start coroutine, both using start coroutine function. First is string based and second is iNumerator based. In the string based, we pass a coroutine name as a string. And here we are using a second method iNumerator based. Typical functions can return any type, whereas coroutine must return an iNumerator. We must use yield before return. Coroutines can be used for two reasons, asynchronous code and code that needs to compute over several frames. Here we are making a wait for 0.1 second. Here we are using an instantiate method to instantiate a dart prefab and in the second parameter we are passing a position and in the third we are passing a rotation and then assigning a newly created dart prefab to the dart temp. At this line we are making dart is child of ER camera. A rigid body component is already attached to our dart and here we are getting the rigid body component and assigning it to RB. Using RB we are making is kinematic is equal to true to stop all the physics on the dart. By this dart will be still in front of the camera. It will not be utilizing a physics component properties like gravity and other properties. In the next lectures when we will add a force behind the dart to throw a dart, we will make it turn off again. In this lecture I have explained line by line each and everything. And in the next lectures I will only be explaining new topics in detail to make this course compact and full of information. Now let's jump back to Unity. For now we don't need a collider on the dart throw point. So we are disabling the collider but keeping the mesh render to see where is the point of position at which we will create a dart. So at this point we have a dart controller script and a dart prefab and now we need to connect them. Our dart controller script will instantiate the dart after placing the dart board. To assign the dart controller open the script folder and select AR session origin and drag and drop the dart controller script on the inspector panel. Now open the prefab folder and select the dart prefab and assign it to dart controller dart prefab. Next we will be assigning a dart throw point. Open the AR camera in AR session origin and select dart throw point and assign it to dart throw point on dart controller and that's how how we assign any prefab or object from the scene let me explain a bit what is happening overall until this point we are developing this project in a way every script component has its own separate responsibility so with the help of place object on plane we are placing a dartboard on the wall and dart controller has subscribed to our event that is in place object on place and that event is occurred when we place the dartboard on the wall Place object on plane, notify the dart controller that my work is done of placing the dartboard. Now it's your turn to do the work. And the dart controller working is simple. It's instantiating the dart prefab at the given transform point. That is dart throw point. And we have set the dart throw point in the scene in front of the AR camera. In this build on locking a surface, after the dartboard it will load a dart. So now we have a dart and a dart board. But right now our dart cannot move towards the dart board. I would highly recommend you develop a project in parallel with me. 